So clearly, as you could tell, yes, they're lighting them and then throwing them over the water. That's so dumb. Yes. Oh, my gosh. oh, you've never done the redneck thing. This is what we do. Fun clear lake over here. Okay, clearly we are in East Texas. Um, thank you for joining me for this video, which when I described the concept to Allison, um, she uh, expressed concern that it might be, quote, dangerously boring. So let's put that to the test. Um, clearly our surroundings have changed a little bit today. I am coming to you from exotic Hawkins, Texas, where we are visiting my parents in very coronavirus pandemic fashion, um, in that we are staying in this gorgeous 30 foot travel trailer, which is currently parked on my parents' boat ramp across the street from their house. We've got a beautiful view of the lake. Um, Hey, that's my dad. Drinking coffee. He's drinking coffee. What are the odds? What are the odds? Travel is not really a thing that's happening right now. It's a thing I've been thinking a lot about because I wish I was doing it. Um, but I thought this might be an interesting time to talk a little bit about um, something I think about a lot when I'm traveling, which is how am I going to get reliably exquisite coffee when I am not in my home and in my kitchen? Uh, over the years, I've developed a handful of different kits that I carry um, for different styles of trips to enable that. Um, and I wanted to walk you through some of them today. These are not necessarily product reviews. They're not necessarily like the best. Um, they're sort of the things that I have found through some various considerations. And I thought it might be interesting to kind of walk you through what those things are. Are there better versions of the things I'm going to show you? That's very, very possible. Um, but these are the tools uh, that I use. So. First, I want to talk about the act of traveling and the transit itself. And that is where this comes into play. This is a fancy instant coffee from Verve. There are so many fancy instant coffees these days. This actually is not even my favorite. This is their Buena Vista roast. It's, it's pretty good and I would drink it and I have it today because I have it today. Um, the best one I've come across is from a company called Voila. You can get five cups of coffee and a, and a little box that's the size of a, a box of cigarettes. Um, have those in your car, have those in your suitcase. Um, Cause while it's not perfect and while it's a little overpriced for the number of cups you get, it is far and away better than anything that you're gonna find in a truck stop coffee urn or an airport coffee urn in my opinion. So these stay on me in case I get sleepy on the road or if I'm on a long haul trip, dealing with jet lag or like whatever the case may be. First style of trip. Typically it's a work thing. It's when I'm going to be on my own in a hotel um, for a week or so, probably like a, like a five day thing. Um, that is where this kit comes into play. Um, basically we're dealing with two main things. First is a very scary looking water boiler. If you've ever looked down inside of your electric kettle, you've seen this exactly, except now it's just on a cord in a really terrifying way. Please be careful with all of these things. But this is the um, hotel bathroom, get a towel handy. Um, this lets you just put this little metal piece into a heat safe container, like a metal cup and get water up to a boil, which is great. So that I use in conjunction with this AeroPress. I have two little add-on modifications. I can't remember where I got this, but I'll find out and 
put links and things. Um, but it is this little rubber or silicone cap um, that basically acts as a lid for the plunger portion of the AeroPress, which turns this empty negative space into coffee storage. I will put pre-ground coffee in here, seal it up, and then dose it into here as I need. Um, and you can probably get like five days worth of coffee into this. And then with this tiny form factor, you have everything you need. So that's one modification. The second is this Fellow Prisma. Um, this is a little device that Fellow came up with that basically uses a reusable metal filter and a one-way valve so that you can create a slightly more pressurized environment in which to press your coffee. Um, this can make it a little stronger, can make it a little more like espresso. They say you can kind of get espresso out of these. I haven't found that to be true, but what it does do is prevent any water from coming out or coffee from coming out until you actually start to apply pressure. So this lets you have your brewer just sitting on a table without an, a second vessel um, around and nothing is going to come out of here, which is great. So that lets you heat water in your drinking cup, pour that water into here, let it become coffee and then put it back in without having to have a third thing. Moving on. Next up is the camping trip, right? This is when we're going to be outside and we don't have a kitchen or a source of reliable power. That is where my jet boil kit comes in handy. Um, we do a little bit of camping. We do probably more glamping, uh, but this works for absolutely both of those. Main caveat here, this needs to be performed outside. Don't do this inside, don't do it in a tent, just go outside. It's great to be outside. Nature is wonderful. This is a small stove. They're designed pretty much just to boil water for backpacking foods that are dehydrated and whatever whatever else like that. They nest, make it pack really light. So here we have our fuel canister. Here we have the actual stove itself. It comes with a little stabilizer. And I sprung the extra $12.95 for the French press kit. This basically turns your jet boil lid into a traditional French press. I'm not typically a huge fan of French press coffee. I don't love the sludge. So for me, I exclusively use James Hoffman's French press technique, which I'll put over here. That is the most, the best, most consistent way that I have found to get a really clear, clean cup of coffee um, out of a French press, especially when the French press may have varying um, quality. Um, even if your filter screen is not the tightest or most wonderful in the world, you can still get a really crisp, clean, sludge-free cup of coffee. Lastly, this is the kit that I would have brought on this trip if I hadn't been bringing all of this stuff for the purpose of this video. Um, and that is the Airbnb slash place with a kitchen, um, probably driving and not as concerned with space. That is where we get this. So starting with our mirror coffee canister. I really, really love this thing. This we store our coffee in all the time. Uh, it sits on the counter next to our home brewer. Um, so it's really easy to just grab and pack and take with you. Um, what's great about it is that it vacuum seals um, to an extent, gets some oxygen out of the uh, storage chamber so that your coffee can stay um, as fresh as possible, as long as possible. Along with carrying whole beans means bringing a grinder with us. So this is my Hario hand grinder. It's not my favorite grinder that I've ever had, um, but it is the one that has lasted the longest. <laughs> and so I still keep using it. Um, and eventually someday it will die and I will buy something that I can actually fit in my hands. You know, it, it's a little bulky, but it gets the job done. And so that is that. Once I have my coffee that I have stored ground to my liking, that is when I bust out the mirror porigami. Um, this is a really standard pour over. Uh, it just has the added benefit of being totally flat. Um, so you've got this handy little travel compartment and you've got these three identical panels um, that nest and fit together to create a pour over cone. Um, once you've done that, they actually have these proprietary filters that they're, you're expected to constantly buy and use. Um, but I firmly believe that proprietary anything is a giant scam. So I opt to instead take a really standard number two Melita that you can find pretty much anywhere and fold it to mimic the shape that they have. 
um, and get my own cone um, because geometry. Granted, all of this does end up being a little big. I think if we were flying somewhere, there probably would need to be some additional creativity that, that came into play. Um, but with plenty of car space, where we're bringing bags of snacks and planning for eight hours of driving. Um, this, is, uh, this is the standard setup. And so there you have it for all types of trips. The methods I use to ensure coffee snobbery can continue outside of my home. See ya. Oh, he might be trying to scare us away and it might be working. Oh, I doubt it somehow. See you later, bud. Thank you for the pictures.